Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. There's no official injury report yesterday because it was the Niners' bonus practice as they were coming off playing on Thursday. But Trent Williams, Spencer Burford, and Aaron Banks were all on hand. That is obviously a very good sign heading into a huge game against the Eagles this weekend. And in case maybe you thought things might have simmered down between the Niners and the Eagles, allow me to play Hassan Reddick after Philly's win on Sunday. Talk is cheap. You know, they get to come back in the link. It was a lot of boo-hoos last year, a lot of crying, a lot of what if, a lot of this, a lot of that. They get a chance to come back in here, line that up, and prove it again. Yeah, I'd say time hasn't healed those wounds. Trent Williams, however, feels differently. He said, quote, it's just another game. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be looking forward to it because of how last year ended. But I don't think last year has anything to do with next week. There may have been an edict from the 49ers to say that kind of thing because both Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk said the same thing yesterday, although Debo also said he doesn't regret calling Eagles corner James Bradbury trash, so he didn't totally downplay the the significance of the game. As for where Kyle Shanahan might want to attack, well, Ted Wynn of The Athletic was the guest on KMBR yesterday. He named one specific position group. Their linebackers just haven't been very good. And they're susceptible against play action. They're in a five defensive line structure a lot. So um, they, they are a man short in, in the secondary, especially if you could pull up, uh, pull them up with play action. So I, I think, you know, you're going to see a lot of uh, play action, drift routes, crossing routes, and, and that sort of thing. And we've seen Kyle Shanahan scheme those types of uh, plays up, you know, a hundred times. So uh, I imagine that's where they would attack. We know Kyle will figure out how to exploit the weak link on a defense. And we know if it works, Kyle is going to press until it hurts. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Tuesday. Three things the Niners have to do to beat the Eagles. Written by some guy you might know, Rob Guerrera. It is up on goldstandardniners.com right now. I will have a link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, the Niners worked out veteran corner Anthony Averett yesterday. Obviously, we've got some injuries in the secondary, and they also added veteran safety Eric Harris, who has played over 1,500 snaps on special teams. And we know with the injury to George Odom, the Niners have to, have to, have to get better on special teams. One thing you may have missed, the Panthers fired head coach Frank Reich after just 11 games in his first year. It's the shortest tenure for an NFL head coach since 1978 when the Niners fired Pete McCulley when he went 1-8 and eight in his first nine games. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Click the little bell. You'll get notifications. You'll know every single time we go live, which we're going to be every single weekday this week. Tomorrow, excuse me, today, I should say, Bully Ball Podcast, bright and early, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Nope, that's not right. Why can't I do the conversion in my head? It is right. I for, apologize. I can't do the three hours. It's really weird. I'm a, I'm sorry. 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern time. I should just say Eastern first and then subtract. I don't know why I don't. I'm trying to be good to the Pacific audience. But 8 a.m. Pacific time, Bully Ball, Jason Aponte, Steph Sanchez, your questions. Please, please, please join us. We hope you do. We really appreciate it. As always, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, everybody. I'm going to go learn some math. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. We'll talk later today.